Okay, guys. Um, right now we're gonna wanna do something uh, real quick. Uh, this tutorial is not gonna take too much. At the end of this video, you should like this video and subscribe to my channel if it helps you. So today we're gonna we're gonna wanna get rid of this thing. Most of you might be wondering, might be facing having difficulties about it. And uh, whichever source that you have in that difficulties, you should try to put it in the comment below so we can talk about it. As for me, I am getting that problem from my PHP file. Um, I'm getting that error from my PHP job. So right now, I'm I'm using NetBeans, and um, but I try to let me go back here and and uh, open first page close that out if if I try to run this file um, it's actually going to tell me that if I try to run this file it's actually going to tell me that update not found so we're going to fix that real quick all right so to fix that, what what should we what we're gonna do? Um, to fix that, let me take everything off my other screen first. And uh, to fix that, to fix that, to fix that, this is what we're going to do. You should uh, first of all, you should first of all delete everything from the project. Right, but I strongly recommend you should make a backup for anything. So for that, I'm going to delete this project and yeah. So so right now I I got nothing on my on my project list, and the next thing that I'm gonna to want to do is to make sure that. Uh, 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 go to desktop and clever techie this is the file that I want I want to access clever techie so I got nothing right here and what you're gonna want to do right now is to manually create a folder from that for that specific stuff and the reason why that is happening is uh, when you go to drive C Go to SIMP and HDDocs. Nothing is found here. Oh, so I just um, deleted that. I just deleted everything. So let me just assume that nothing is found. And what you're going to want to do is to manually, manually create that project. So let's say I'm going to create project for Revenue Junkie RJ. And um, no, sorry. And within that RJ, I'm going to have a folder called uh, login. And yeah, inside that login, I'm going to have my uh, HTM um, PHP files that I want to run. So I'm going to go ahead and copy that and paste everything. Make sure you don't have NB project stuff like it before, before pasting that, or else you're going to get an error that. Um, there's already already a dead beans project right there. So paste that and once you paste that you can go ahead and start new project on NetBeans. So let's create a new project. Yeah. Go here and create a new project and uh, PHP project next and name this one. You can go uh, click the um sorry um source source folder go to drive c my computer and locate that samp htdocs rj login click on that login and open it will tell that uh project sucks that is not empty yeah we're okay with that and i name this one Login system. Login system. And uh, finish. I think yeah. 
hopefully this does fix the problem and uh, to run that you're going to want to make sure that if you're using that base you're going to want to make sure that your database information are correct i don't want to so let me check if my database information are correct because of my security purpose so i'm going to pause this video and check if the security information are correct so see you when i come back so yeah i just check my database dot php to make sure that my security information are correct and uh, i'm going to go ahead and preview of course it is correct so i'm going to go ahead and change this to chrome i don't know why this thing is loading keep loading but anyway um let's go ahead let's move on and you can go ahead and push this button to preview that and see if it works yeah perfect it worked it worked so uh yeah that's how to fix that so i'm no longer getting that uh for for error so yeah that should be exactly um what should fix your problem for you i hope you like this video just go ahead and give it a thumb up and um share your comment with me and i'll reply as much as i can bye for now